Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. Outside for another beautiful February uh, Stout Month review. Today I got another gift. This is one that came in a box. Uh, you know, I've tried a few clown shoes here over the month. Uh, here's another one that's a state-only release from New Jersey. The Garden State Rhapsody American Imperial Stout aged in rye barrels. Another great clown shoes label. This is from Justin out in uh, New York. Justin, thank you. Obviously, we don't get this in Minnesota. Uh, it says they blended 12 rye barrels of undead party crasher Imperial Stout with three rye barrels of an experimental barley wine to create this New Jersey exclusive beer. Count me in. New Jersey only. Let's see. What do we do with the glass? Ah, we'll put it down. I've had the other... What did we do? Uh, Illinois. We did Illinois and Minnesota. I think I've got... We've got Texas. We've got a couple of Texas versions. Uh, this month is... We're hitting them all. Let's... Uh, let's dig in here. i got the big tulip. I want to get my nose on this one. Got it at about 50 degrees. But... It's outside, so we're cooling down. Nice, beautiful, frothy little head. It's pitch black. You're not seeing through it. Even on a dark uh, day like today, you're not seeing through it. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. oh, rye, rye, rye. Chocolates and rye. There's just a huge dose of, uh, of real milk chocolate, uh, but that rye backbone uh, on there, oh my. That's nice. Uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. A little thinner than I thought. Oh my. Oh, this is going to be a good afternoon sipper. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, that that rye. Oh my, that's evident. Not overpowering, but it's evident. The licorice, the anise note, um, caramel. There's a little cherry note. Oh, this is just a treat. We're about 20 degrees outside today. Oh, caramel note comes up. It's kind of that caramel and rye, but the chocolate not as sticky a mouthfeel as some of the others. A little lighter than medium mouthfeel. Oh my, this is just tasty though. The blend of that rye and the stout. Sometimes the barrel overtakes the stout. Not on this one. Oh my, this is nice. It's actually chilling down in the glass as I'm outside. The, the problem with doing outdoor reviews. This is, oh, it's an absolute winner. There's a little smoky note as I talk. Um, that caramel keeps coming through at the end. The end is just a caramel and chocolate note. The rye is, it weaves in and out. Um, this is a treat. Um, this is uh, 9.5, easy, 9.75, 9.5, 9.75, somewhere in there. It's an A-plus beer. Oh, my, this is really nice. Um, if, if you, I, I think this was a one-off, uh, and I don't, I can't see the date on the bottle. I think this was from a year ago, 2014. You know what? Let me see here glasses back here I think there is a date on here very faint oh bottle January 28th of 15 so a little over a year old um, wow this is a treat if you've got a bottle in the cellar now might be the time to pull it out if you've got uh, um, 
access to it, grab it. This is awesome. If you've tried it, put some notes down below. Um, Justin out of New York, thank you for sending this to me. This is a winner. Uh, Garden State Rhapsody, uh, American Imperial Stout aged in rye barrels from our friends at Clown Shoes. There's the label. Sorry about it being so dark out here. Just kind of a dreary day, but but oh my God, what a winner. Um, this is awesome. Thanks for sharing another beer with me, world. It's a stout month. Cheers.